Now, Ottawa is taking the first step in creating a public alert system for missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Consultations are now taking place for what's being called the Red Dress Alert. CBC's Olivia Stefanovic has the details. Such a long wait. Stephanie English says she wished there would have been a public wide alert when her 25 year old daughter Joey went missing. I really struggled with that. How I found out with my daughter, one of my daughters is uh, the knock on the door after 19 days later. Ottawa is now trying to change the way the country responds to missing Indigenous women, launching consultations to make a new emergency notification system a reality. Just like Amber Alerts for missing children, a red dress alert would notify the public on their phones whenever an Indigenous woman, girl or two-spirit person goes missing. All those opposed to the motion will please say nay. Carried. A motion by New Democrat MP Leah Gazan received the support of the House of Commons for a red dress alert. There's no more time to wait. There's no more time for excuses. We need a red dress now. The National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls recommended a nationwide emergency number for disappearances. The first 24 hours that a person goes missing is, is absolutely vital uh, to use to try to locate the individual. The inquiry's chief commissioner has since worked with Washington State to develop North America's first alert system for all missing Indigenous people. Because Something this advocate dress, says she wants Canada to follow. Our men and boys who are just as valued, of course, as everyone else. English says the time to act is now. It's been eight years and I still haven't heard anything about my daughter. And it's, it's very important, very crucial that we have that support from the government. It's a matter, she says, of saving lives. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa. For more on this, I'd like to bring in Lorelai Williams. She's a missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls advocate. Welcome to the show. Thanks for your time. Hello, thanks for having me. Lorelai, uh, walk me through just how important a public alert system like this is. A public alert system is very important because our Indigenous women and girls are going missing and being murdered at a high rate in this country. So I think it's very important for our lives, like to just to live in this country. And, and you come to this with a personal take on this, a very personal story. Both your your aunt. And, and importantly, your, your cousin uh, were missing women. And in the case of your cousin, Tanya Hollick, uh, she, was a, she was a victim of Robert Picton. Yes, yes, my, my grandma as well. And my partner's aunt was murdered in 1991 as well. As, yeah, as that happens, to, yeah, as that happens to you throughout your life, it, it, how does that um, position you or put you in a position to want to see change like this, like an alert system like this? I want to see so many changes within our country, within this racist country, because our Indigenous women and girls' lives are at stake. We are trying to survive in this country to this day. Like, I'm constantly working on cases every single day around this issue. A system like this, what barriers might it help overcome? The alert system? Mm -hmm. I feel like when families come to me, they come to me with no support. Um, they're, they're at a point where they just feel like nobody's helping them. So I feel like uh, an alert system, which is carefully planned, um, will help, but also let predators know that it's not easy to target us. That's one of the reasons why they target us, because they know that nobody is going to do anything about it. I mean, our community comes together and 
we're the ones who are searching and looking for family members. Um, but we need anything and everything that we can get to put a message out that, that it's not easy to target us. Because right now, they know it's easy to target us. The National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls uh, in 2019, their final report called on governments to establish a nationwide emergency number. So it's now four and a half years later. How does it feel knowing that it, it could become a reality? It's a little shocking because I'm used to not getting the things that we need to survive in this country. It usually takes a lot of a lot of work, a lot of pushing, a lot of everything just to get one thing to happen. Um, you know, we've been pushing for all of these recommendations to go through and it's four and a half years later for this one thing that is not set in stone. Work is just starting on this, but is there anything else that you would like to see added to this initiative? Um, the one thing I worry about, like, I'm, I'm hoping that it's carefully planned and I'm, I'm pretty sure Leah Gazan will make sure that it's carefully planned. My one concern about this is the fact that predators, when a picture of a missing woman or girl goes out, predators are searching for those pictures too. So I feel like you know, once it gets into their hands, that's the scary part. So it would, it would have to be planned in a certain way where we would have to make sure that it doesn't fall into their hands because those predators, pedophiles, or whatever we want to call them, they have their own groups. They have their own secret groups. And when they see those photos of the missing woman or girl, they're out searching for them as well. So that's the other that's one concern I have, but other than that, I feel like it is an, an important initiative. Thank you. Lorelai Williams is a missing and murdered Indigenous woman and girls advocate. Appreciate speaking with you tonight. Thank you.